Oil painting shouldn't be intimidating. This video will be an easy guide to get you started. I will tell you about the materials that you'll need, but first of all, let's understand what is oil painting about. Basically, oil paint is just that, pigment and oil, and therefore its properties will depend on this fact. Being oil-based, we will have to treat it as such when using it. You should know that oil dries slower than other types of paint, such as acrylic or watercolors. This allows you to work in more detail and allows you to take the time to mix colors. The colors of the oil does not change when it dries. This happens with other paints. Plus, the colors themselves tend to be richer and more vivid with a buttery texture that you won't get with any other paint. So, what do you need to start? You will need oil paint, of course, surface to be paint, brushes, paint palette, medium, solvent, palette knife, paper towel and racks. Okay, let's start with oil painting. In general, you can find oil paint intended for students and oil paint intended for professional artists. The difference between them lies in the price and the amount of pigment they contain. There are excellent quality brands for students such as Winsor & Newton, also gambling, and they are very easy to find. Now, what colors did you start with? There is an overwhelming variety of colors, but basically you will need titanium white, ivory black, lemon yellow, burnt sienna, raw umber, alizarin crimson, cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and set green. You will be able to paint anything with this selection, and with time, you'll continue to add more colors of your choice to your collection. So about the surface. The surface on which you decide to paint must be properly prepared to accept oil paint. You will be able to find different options. Surely you will know the traditional canvas, MDF panels, wood, even copper and aluminum sheets suitable for painting with oil. But to start, I recommend having a paper pad of oil paper because you shouldn't feel the pressure to do a perfect job when you're just starting. Brushes. When we talk about the brushes, we also find too many options. So let's simplify. The first thing is to make sure that you choose oil painting brushes. The oil brushes are firmer, so you can be able to work with the paint. For oil painting, there are naturals and synthetic ones depending on your preference. The brushes also come in many shapes, but to start, I recommend the flats first. They are very versatile. You can use them to fill in color or give details. They are good in both ways, natural or synthetic. Other good ones to have are the rounds. I prefer synthetic ones. They help me a lot for details. And a third very good option for beginners are the filberts. I use them a lot in my portraits. And finally, it's good to have a white brush to cover larger areas or toning the canvas. Paint palettes. You can find them made of wood or glass, but personally, I prefer disposable paper palette. This one comes with a neutral gray tone, ideal for mixing colors. I think it's a very good option for beginners. Mediums. Their use is not mandatory, but they are very useful to give the consistency you want to the paint. There is a wide variety depending on the need. For example, there are quick drying ones, like this liquid. These sped up the drying time of the paint and give the paint a shiny finish. Oil paint takes a lot of time to dry, several days. With this product, in 24 hours, the paint will be dry to the touch. It is very practical, but personally, I use it only when I'm in a hurry, because it has a very strong smell. There are also mediums made with mineral spirits and linseed oil. 
And also you can use pure linseed oil if you want to. It is recommended to use lean mediums with a higher proportion of mineral spirits in the first layers of paint and fat mediums with higher proportion of oil for the last layers of paint to respect the fat over lean rule to avoid damaging the paint while it dries. Most of the time I use this solvent free gel medium. I just put it in my color palette and dip in my brush whenever required. This is my preferred method. There is also this more fluid version that I also really like. Solvents. Obviously, you should not use water to clean your brushes full of oil. For this, you will use solvents. They are also used to give a first coat or a wash. Most artists use odorless mineral spirits, which are supposedly less harmful. But equally, they must be handled with care. They are highly flammable and produce harmful fumes. You must use them in well-ventilated areas. I personally do not tolerate them and avoid them at all costs. To dilute the paint, I use solvent-free, oil-based products, and to clean the brushes while I paint, I use paper towel, and at the end, when I have finished painting, I wash the brushes with specific soaps for this, free of solvents like this one. Palette knife. To mix the colors mainly, I thought they could be used for spread paint too. Paper and towel rags. To clean brushes and any mess. I think I have covered most of the basics so you can start painting with oils. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I hope that this video has served to motivate you to start this beautiful art that I personally love. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe if you're interested in this topic, and share it with whoever you think might need it. Thank you very much for reaching this point and until next time.